Hey everybody, welcome back to another pointless review. Where am I looking? I'm not looking at the camera, that's where. So today we are reviewing a choice cut of beef that my wife got at Dollar General. That's right folks, Dollar General. They don't have a butcher counter, they just have meat in a cooler. So we are going to do a quick, less than a minute review of said cut of beef, which I don't even know. Kid, I'm on camera here. We're rolling. Exactly. <laughs> Let's take a look at this poor cold meat. So there it is. It is a cut of shank steak slash budget meat from the Dollar General. And I'm washing it down with a Pilsner that I got from Trader Joe's. Huge shout out. And of course, you need your A1. It's not steak unless it's A1. And I got some baked veggies that my wife made because she says I'm fat. All right, folks, next clip you will see me eating said meat and rating it on the one to five scale. All right, let's put a little dollop. Ooh, never even been opened. Oh, man. Five second rule. Mm. Five out of five on the baked veggies. Very flavorful. Huge shout out to my wife, Nicole. I did not shake that A1 before putting it on my plate. I'm having trouble with the A1 here, folks. I got a great story about A1 from when I was a kid. We were having a backyard barbecue at my grandparents in Anaheim, California. Grandpa had grilled up the steaks. I had poured the A1 on my plate. And then instead of screwing the cap back down, I just set it like that and then set it back down. And Grandpa went to shake the bottle and did not put his finger over the lid and started shaking it and got coated in A1. Many profanities were uttered. Classic story of my youth. We're going to now cut this budget meat. How much was, how much was it? It was like $6.50. 650 for shank steak. Butter fried in the skillet, thin cut. It's not terrible. Maybe it was the way you prepared it. You know what this reminds me of, folks? This reminds me of like 1990s Fremont Street steak and potatoes for $3.99. It's everything you would expect it to be for the price. But. It's not terrible. I am shockingly gonna give this four out of five. And I'm gonna say the hands that made it, my lovely wife whose 36th birthday is tomorrow, they did good. Until next time, folks, we will see you then.